grace and then the concentration. So I said second order reaction is obtained when the rate of reaction depends on the scale of the concentration of the reactant. We obtain second order reaction. And the last one I want to talk about here is the zero order. Now we can also have what we call zero order reaction. And this is obtained when the, concept, the rate of reaction is independent on the power of the reactant or the concentration of the reactant. That is, the reaction can proceed without the input or the concentration, independent of the concentration of uh, the reactant. So in this case, what we have, we can see this in the composition of hydrogen peroxide, where we have hydrogen iodide, where we have H2 plus I2. Now in this case, our rate will give us K into H raised to power 0. So here we have zero order reaction. We have zero order reaction. And then the graph will show cost by this constant. We have to the subject of this equation. We have concentration and we have rate. So since what we are saying here is that the rate will not depend on the concentration of the reactor. So we are going to have a graph of this equation. So that is the three types of uh, order of reaction that I want to talk about. I said the first order of reaction, the first order of reaction, we have the first one to be first order of reaction. And I said the first order of reaction, I have uh, the rate depending on the concentration of the reactant. While in second order reaction, I have the rate of reaction depending on the square of the reactant in respect to A. Then I said in zero order, then the rate of reaction is independent on the condition of the reactant. Now we will quickly look at how to apply this mathematically. So I will put an example on the board and then we solve. Then from there you can practice on your own. So let's look at this exercise. We have a reaction S O plus giving Now from this, the following, from that equation, okay, sorry, reaction. Now from this, we have the following data.
here we have um, everything is removed by the top. So if the first one we have 0.036 and then the rate for the first one is 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 5 2.9 times 10 to the power minus 5 and then we have 2.9 times 10 to the power minus 5 now from this data of change we have to calculate the following one the order of reaction with respect to each reaction then we will calculate the rate Calculate the rate constant K Then C will calculate the reaction rate The reaction rate When each Reactant concentration is 0 0.20 volumes. So if we have this question, and uh, for this question, we can apply the order of reaction, and then we will be able to solve them using the metal.